All right, everybody, good morning. Fox News alert now. The hunt is on for three suspected suicide bombers ahead of the Winter Games, and there are fears at least one of the so-called Black Widows could be already on the ground within the Olympic area in Sochi, Russia. That's where we start. I'm Bill Hemmer. Welcome here to America's Newsroom on a Tuesday. Good morning, Bill. Good morning, everybody. I'm Martha McCallum. So Russia's president, Vladimir Putin, has vowed to keep the Olympics safe with his so-called ring of steel. But this 22-year-old widow of an Islamic militant, they now are saying may already be inside of that area. Her face is plastered on wanted posters all around Sochi. Congressman Peter King says that even if the games are kept safe, that's not the only target. The main Olympic site will probably be uh, safe. The fact is there are other Olympic venues outside of Sochi, which, without going into details, are vulnerable. Well, Jonathan Hunt is live from our newsroom picking up the story from here. This is an urgent search for these black widows, Jonathan. It certainly is, Bill. We had some details of this yesterday, but this search seems to be expanding. One of the women that the uh, Russian security services are looking for is 22-year-old Ruzana Ibragimova. That is not her. She's the woman in the, uh, in the pink garb that we were just showing. Uh, these are two others that are also believed to be on the loose somewhere. Now, these kind of groups represented by these women have shown that they are ruthless and efficient. Remember, just last month, they carried out those twin suicide bombings uh, in Volgograd. That was the attack at the train station there. Now, take a look at this video, the Olympic torch just today arriving via that very same train station in Volgograd. Now, one of the concerns here, obviously, Obviously, is while they put this so-called ring of steel around the Olympics themselves, there are other softer targets, as Congressman Peter King was talking about. One of those might be the Olympic torch rally as it passes through various cities on its way to Sochi during this week. And that is one of the concerns that the other so-called black widows that they are now looking for and whose faces are also up on these wanted posters may target the crowd around the Olympic torch uh, procession. So this really is, as you rightly said, Bill, an extremely urgent search for these women right now. And what King was telling us yesterday afternoon on HQ is about all these soft targets. You can keep the game safe, but yeah. it's a big country. Now, the U.S. military is get, getting ready for possible scenarios that could turn out not so well. Yeah, uh, and what of course, are they? That is, that is the U.S. military's role, to prepare for the worst, if you like. Uh, they are now doing that. The Russians, as we were explaining yesterday, have the lead, naturally, in all the security around Sochi itself, around the Olympic Games. But the uh, U.S. military is going to put assets into the region. In particular, look at the Black Sea, just right next to Sochi there. Take a look at this map. Uh, the, we got a quote from the Pentagon, which reads air and naval assets to include two Navy ships in the Black Sea will be available if requested for all manner of contingencies in support of and in consultation with the Russian government. That is a very clear reference to one of the issues we were talking about right here yesterday, Bill, that the Russians will decide if and when any American security services of any description can get on to Russian territory. They have not been good in terms of cooperation, as Congressman King also told you. Uh, so there are a lot of questions about what would happen if the worst does happen and U.S. citizens are in trouble in Sochi. So uh, a lot to be uh -huh. worked out on the ground here. Jonathan, thank you. It's going to get a lot of attention yeah. leading up here uh, in our newsroom now. Martha. Well, Russian President Vladimir Putin saying that he will do whatever it takes to keep the Sochi games safe. And that might be a pretty tall order for him. The area around Sochi in the larger geographic area has seen more than 1,500 attacks since 2010, largely related to Chechen rebel activity in that broader area. Now, Russian authorities are deploying close to 100,000 security personnel for these games. That's more than 40,000 police officers that are also expected to be on duty. The bill for all this security is expected to hit three billion dollars. Also these terror concerns and a host of other serious issues taking a big toll on Olympic ticket sales. 
Organizers are saying about 70% of tickets sold so far, with three weeks to go before the start of those games. 300,000 tickets remain unsold, but Russian officials say they expect strong last-minute demand. And just before we came on the air, we were talking about, you know, look at the grandstands for all these events, and that'll tell you what's happening with people and how safe they feel or not uh, based on turnout for the fans. also just very remote. I mean, when you look at that map, I mean, it's not like having the Olympics in Lake Placid right. or, right. you know, in a place that's easy to get to that people are comfortable and familiar with. So even before all this started happening, uh, I think that they were worried about that. Yeah. Games begin on February 6th. Looking forward to it.